I have here a Raspberry Pi Pico. How can I turn it into a programmable logic controller? But first, let's look at some of the relevant features of the Raspberry Pi Pico. The Raspberry Pi Pico, unlike the previous Raspberry Pis, is a microcontroller board like the Arduino Nano, but built around the ROP2040 microcontroller chip. It has a micro USB port for data transfer and power supply to the board, an onboard LED that is connected to GP25 port, and a boot select button for reprogramming the Pico's flash. The Pico pin labels are on its other side. The Raspberry Pi Pico has 43 pins, three of which at the lower part of the board are the debug headers. These are the power pins. Where VBUS should be about 5 volts from the micro USB port. An external power supply ranging from 1.8 to 5.5 volts can power the board through VCs. You can get 3.3 volts from this pin. The 26 general purpose IOs functions with 3.3 volts, 23 of which are digital only while the other three can function as digital IOs or analog inputs. Two SPI, I2C, and URAT functions are available on these pins. There are also 16 PWM channels on these pins. But back to the question. Beremis for Pico is centered on Beremis PLC Open Editor, which is an open source IEC 61131 3 automation IDE where you can program in ladder diagram, function block diagram, structured text, instruction list, and sequential function block. The installation of Beremis for Pico is done manually, first by installing and setting up Arduino IDE with the Arduino Embed OS ROP2040 boards from the board manager. You should also download and install Visual C++ 11 runtime if it is not already installed on your computer. Next, go to the GTOP page, navigate to the latest releases, and download the Baremis for Pico Manager v2.0 and the source code zip file. Create a folder on your drive and name it Baremis for Pico. Copy the Beremis for Pico Manager.exe into it. Extract the source code zip file and copy base files folder into the Beremis for Pico folder. Open and extract Beremis.zip and matiec.zip into the Beremis for Pico folder. Finally, open python.7z.001 with 7-zip and extract it into the Beremis for Pico folder. Then you are good to go. You can create a shortcut of Beremis for Pico Manager for quick access or just double click to open it. If Windows Defender Smart Screen doesn't recognize the application, click on More Info and then Execute Anyway. Now you must set the tools path from the file menu. Navigate to the Beremis for Pico folder where the application was installed. Our test program will be flashing the onboard LED. Create a new project from the file menu. Navigate to your hard drive and create a project folder. Double click on the folder and click on Select Folder. Ensure that the Raspberry Pi Pico is selected here. Under the pin section, scroll down to GP25 LED and double click on Not Used. Click on the down facing arrow and select Digital Output. Note that the PLC name for the pin is %QX0.25, which is the IEC 61131 3 naming format. The pin functions of Digital Input. Analog input, analog output, and servo are also supported. Now, open Beremis for Pico Editor from the project menu. 
Click on the plus symbol in the project window and select program. Select LD language and click OK. To create a variable for the LED, click on this green plus symbol. Double click and change the cell name to LED, the type to bow, and location to the earlier configured GP25 PLC name. To create the ladder program, click on the power rail icon on the LD toolbar. Then click on the addition grid below. Select the left power rail and click OK. Draw the right power rail in a similar fashion. Do same for the contact. Select negated and choose the LED variable. Then click OK. Add a koi with the same LED variable. Now click on the block icon. Expand standard function block. Select TON and click OK. Repeat the previous steps to add TOF. Click on the variable icon. Impute TH1S under expression to specify a duration of one second and click OK. Copy and paste the variable. Then drag and rearrange the symbols accordingly. Drag a connection between the symbols as shown. Double click on resource 1 on the project window. Click on the green plus symbol on the instance window. Enter the name instance 1. Select the PROG0 type and the PLC task. Then click save and the build icon to generate the PLC code. If everything is OK, you should see the message below, C code generated successfully. Now go back to the Beremis for Pico Manager. From the project menu, click on Generate Target Files. You should get a successful prompt. The final step is to navigate to your project folder, locate the iNo file with the project name, and double click on it. Ensure that the Raspberry Pi Pico has been plugged to your computer. Select the Raspberry Pi Pico board and the port number from the Tools menu. Then compile and upload the sketch to the Pico. The Pico on board LED should start flashing if the upload is successful. Many thanks to Benoit Boucher for making this possible. And thank you for watching. Please let me know what you think about Beremis for Pico. Bye for now.